Great, welcome to this uh, hot summary practice. We were just on the Zoom room here chatting about what temperature it is for different people in their different locations that we're calling in from and 29 is one of the common temperatures that is being experienced for folks on this call at this time. Uh, but maybe you're watching this uh, in the winter and you're already experiencing cool thoughts and cool body. My name is Jill Davy, and I'm one of the teachers with True North Insight and this practice tonight is inspired by one of the guiding teachers of True North Insight and a well-known Dharma teacher Jean Esther and uh, she we were in a training this weekend and she shared a meditation um, for folks that are here on the Zoom and also on YouTube. I'll put a link to her talks um, on Dharma Seed, so that's here in the Zoom chat if you want it. Her name is Jean Esther, J-E-A-N, -J and then E-S-T-H-E-R. And I'll also put that down below in the YouTube recording. <clears throat> and this isn't uh, it's kind of inspired by what touched me in that practice that she offered on the weekend. Um, what I found helpful about it was this image of a well and the, the cooling waters of the well. And um, for me, I connect it with this sense of a kind of infinite aquifer, this infinite source of water that we draw from. And the, the water in this practice tonight is care. This is it's like a self-compassion meditation or compassion for all beings meditation because there's a, a lot of fires in the world in our greed, hatred, and delusion. And there's a lot of heat and fieriness in our hearts and minds at times and uh, and with sometimes with um, what we call the Brahma Vihara meditations or the they're called the meaning the heart focused meditations of this practice the the um, cultivation of heavenly qualities is another way to say it and these include loving kindness compassion, resonant joy, feel, uh, connecting with joy to the others that are experiencing joy and equanimity. And sometimes with those meditations we can feel like, or I've felt like at times, I need to generate this. I have to like make it happen, create it, uh, pull it up from some source within myself or uh, and I'm not finding that helpful um, and I don't think it's accurate either. <laughs> I find this image of this infinite source of care Um, is much more accurate uh, of the boundless qualities of these Brahma Viharas and um, it helps to not add to the fuel of me creating a self that's doing something and being something and creating something and giving something to others and stuff like that. Um, I think that's pretty much as much as um, is needed. So I'll um, offer some guidance, but there will be uh, definitely times of silence where you can continue practicing and cultivating this cooling, caring quality within ourselves and then also offering it to others or sharing it with others, sharing this quality. Yeah. Okay. So, 
adjust your posture for what is supportive for your body your system for your practice tonight if you want to lay down if you want to dim your lights if you want to turn away from the computer um, if you need any other supports or cushions or a drink of cool water you can take a moment to get that fizzy water Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so finding the posture that will support the, this attitude of care with yourself. Really taking time to allow yourself to check into what do you need and allowing yourself to give that to yourself. And then when your body has found a posture where you can feel some ease, See what position for your eyes is helpful for your practice. If there's a lot of sleepiness, you might prefer eyes slightly open and resting downward, bringing in a bit of light. Uh, if you find it more restful and anchoring, centering to close your eyes, then certainly do that. Some might also like to spend some time resting your eyes on something beautiful in your space or outside if you have a, access to a window. So here we're just taking time, bringing ourselves into stillness and presence and center. And take some Time to notice any tension that isn't needed right now and see if it can soften, ease, release to some degree. Checking out the habit areas of tension in the face. And see if you notice some degree of cooling or calming of the heart-mind with a peaceful expression. Check out any habit tension that may be there for you in the neck or shoulders. Hands. And can any of that melt away, soften? to some degree.
And check out any habit tension in the area of the belly. Or the heart center. If it's warm at this time when you're practicing with this recording or now, depending where you are, and see if that warmth can just melt away any tension. And then we'll just be, I'll be quiet for a few moments here and we're, we're still just with arriving, softening, grounding, presence, stillness for a few more moments here. Now, bringing into the field of awareness uh, a beautiful well, a very deep and full well, filled with cool, clean water, very pure water. And the well is sourced by an infinite aquifer, an underwater source, an underground source that is boundless. Will never run dry, is free of condition, is available for all. And then feeling your, your heart, your body, your mind, your energy, your whole being, drinking that water of care. You might find it helpful to recall a time when you've been deeply seen or cared for. It can be a friend, teacher, nature.
could be family or even a someone from work. This sense of being deeply seen, cared for, beyond judgment. And it may be that this is something that you've been able to give yourself. In these next few minutes of silence, we'll just allow ourselves to keep drinking in this water of care. You might imagine it being like a shower. Or a wellspring within you. If it's helpful to you, you could connect each breath with receiving and giving care as you breathe in and out. If you notice the mind gets caught in any stories of having not been cared for, see if you can just let that flow away for now and allow yourself to receive the care that is here, right here in this practice. And seeing if you can let that quality of care do the meditating. So you don't have to work so hard at it. Just that space, that awareness, that boundless, infinite source of care 
is already aware, already present, and we can just tap into it. As you dip your bucket into this well of care, see if you can call up a wish for yourself, for your being. Just let yourself drink in that wish. Then the next time you dip into the well, you might like to call up a wish for, for others. You can do this, take your time, perhaps a few times, so you might connect with a wish for those of us sharing in this practice. In the next seven minutes of practice, I'll be quiet and you can continue just with this cooling care for self or calling up wishes for others that are experiencing the fiery heart and mind and body at this time. It could be groups of people the earth itself.
individual, whatever you like. attention has drifted away or gotten caught on thoughts. Just take another cooling drink of the water of care or return to a phrase, a wish, and let your attention anchor on those words.
moment, I'll ring the bell. Offering these wishes of care for all beings in all directions from this infinite source. Thank you for your practice. If you joined us on the YouTube channel and um, hope to share practice with you again. Thank you.